Hey everyone, it's Steve Summerfeld here, and for this new five-minute episode on the Writers' Lounge podcast, I was down in South Africa at the end of last year hosting the huge King of the Whip competition, and I managed to catch up with a few of the guys before they were about to go upside down, inside out, and back to front to try and clinch a best whip crown. And as you sit back with a cold Rothaus Ten and Zeffler alcohol-free beer like I am right now, Listen to what the four-time African motocross champion and two-time South African motocross champion had to say, especially when he blew everybody away with these ridiculous whips where he took so much of the runway that was absolutely not required, about two meters to the right of the regular run-up, to do the biggest whips off of a metal ramp. This is Dalton Venter. All right, Dalton, we've got the races in. How the hell did you get Monster Yamaha to let you come jump this stuff? To be honest with you, my <laughs> team owner was not happy. He was not happy. <laughs> he, it looked like that when I saw him before. He, he was looking a bit cross. He was like, there is no way you are jumping it. So we left it, and our W Mag was like giving Dirk a little bit of a go, and then Dirk said, go speak to my team boss, and they made a plan with him and then eventually gave in and said you know what if you boys want to do it and you feel comfortable go ahead and do it so we out here 2022 king of the whip and he was doing it so i'm guessing he was good at it you know nice. sweet as a nut right first time i met you actually was out terratopia at the jungle <laughs> rush compound and the reason i wanted to bring you over here for this interview was because you were going absolutely ballistic and uh he rolls around the corner huge fatties huge whips and then he goes do you reckon that's competitive? <laughs> like, competitive? Man, you're going to win this comp. Like, maybe not win, but hell. Podium? Uh, I'm calling minimum podium on this one. I'm not going to put the moniker on you. To but, be, uh, no, to be honest, just... I even, I'm like surprised you even still remember what I said back then. But I do remember coming <laughs> off and I was like, I was feeling rusty. I was like, I don't think I've got this. You think it's good enough? And you're like, yeah. So, really? That was good, yeah. You're feeling rusty there, man. So the bike was just going absolutely sideways and, you know, you were just dropping the front so hard. And the crazy thing was, there was no ref. There no. was, there was no limiter. There was nothing. Funny enough, like me doing it, I'm so comfortable. I got a few messages last night because people who watched the event from last night, they said, you're not panic revving. And when you panic rev, it makes the whip look so much bigger. So panic rev it. I've seen a lot of people win whip comps with crap whips. But full riveter, so uh, full, full rev limiter. I'm definitely going to valve bounce that bike tonight. Are you, are you going to valve bounce it? Because <laughs> yeah. that changes it, changes what goes on on that bike. So uh, you get the thing like you did the other day at uh, Terratopia and you valve bounce it. I think it's it'll on. be proper. Right, who's in your team? we got Durko, Jesse in my team. Yep. And to be honest, Durko and Jesse both, they are going crazy. Yeah, so. I mean, was it Durko that would almost miss the landing? Out of territory. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, no, nah, he's going crazy, but like he was basically landing in the drainage system on the right hand side of that landing. So he, we had to make this landing here like an extra three meters wider just to accommodate him. So, yeah, to be honest, it was actually perfect the landing, but I've noticed at the bottom it goes wider where it could have been at the top already for him. Yeah. You know, he's not really complaining about it. I've been hearing it all in the pits. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so tell us about the racing. What are you, what class are you in? So, Where are you positioned? How's everything going? I ride MX2s, the MX2 class. This year we are chasing the, the championship, but unfortunately I tore my ACL in the beginning of the year. So I was out for the remainder of the season. I came back for the last two and I, I basically, I, the last one I was running like top three. I went into second, we were running second and first and third. I was just so close. So yeah, I'm a top, content, a, a top contender for the class. So that's actually quite cool. But I went through a rough stage. I won the 2019 championship here, and from there it just went downhill. Going to 250s, it just went downhill. Why was that? Ah, oh, it's just fitness, nerves, just people talking to my ear, and like I was riding the bike like it was a 125. Yeah. Over revving, going nowhere. I thought I was going fast, but then obviously you get older, you mature, and everything just falls into place. And now I don't even rev my bike like you say. Yeah. And it's like out on track. It's just so smooth now, and everything's like falling into place. So. That's right, good. okay, so coming into next year, you feel a lot better about it. You say you've matured a bit, you understand yeah. more about you and more about the bike. 
And it's a long season as well. Yeah, definitely. So the next season we have is going to be longer than this season, which I like. And we're going to have quite a few rounds that are going to be difficult and tricky, but we also have a few that are going to, like, it's really going to benefit me. So I'm hoping for the best. And I think we've got a good chance of winning it next year. Mate, well done. Well, you might have a good chance winning next year. You might have a good chance winning Best Whip here at King of the Whip Monte Casino 2022. Well, I already did call it on one of the interviews. I did say I'm 2022 King of the Whip champ. But, <laughs> nah, I'll, I'll take a podium and I'm happy. Just I, a podium. I was calling... Anything less than a podium, it's a riot. Yeah, so I did first want to make the, the night show. That was my goal, just to come in. Well, my goal actually was to first jump to jump when I started, and then I got comfortable, I whipped, and I was like, ah... Oh night show so we did the night show whipped and people said you can win so we don't want to set the the level too high so if i do get a third i'm happy with that Man. you'll be doing bloody well to miss a podium you'd have to absolutely screw it up so i yeah. think we'll be seeing you on a podium let's see what the judges have to say we've got actually who are the judges we got tristan, got tristan karen yeah tristan karen dom brendan brendan and potter, brendan potter. So those guys know all about you racing. Yeah, they, they know, do. I mean, Tristan and Kerem, yes. they know about you racing. You're coming in here throwing whips. They'll have a pretty keen eye and like, they'll be watching you in particular, I reckon. Yeah, definitely, I hope so. <laughs> I, hope, I hope that's my, my ticket to it, you know? There so we go. That's a ticket to the podium. Good luck tonight. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. Have a good one. Thank you.